Uh, hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, as you can see, this is not my uh, typical look. This is not Alaska. I am back on the East Coast, actually, visiting some family around the holidays. I am in Erie, Pennsylvania, fishing some, uh, some tributaries. So the steelhead fishery around here is, is absolutely world class. So I'm just sneaking in an early morning fishing trip, seeing if I can drum up a bite or two. I'm using my uh, center pin gear here and I'm drifting some egg sacks under a float. So I've got uh, egg sack with a set of uh, split shots and then, and then a balsa wood float. And this is usually a pretty good setup, so I'm hoping to, uh, to trigger a strike here shortly. A real simple setup today. There's the egg sack and I've got sort of a series of shot. It's a pattern, so the, the lightest shot at the bottom, some heavier shot up top, and then all the way up to this, uh, this float here. Fish on. Oh, nice. Look at that. First, first two minutes of the day. Awesome steelhead. Nice fish. I think he's just a little guy. We'll send him back. Well guys, that was awesome. That was probably my second or third cast. Got a nice little steelhead. That is a good sign. Oh, uh, you know what? That might not have been the biggest steelhead in the world, but that is totally okay because that was just a really fun fight and just really great to get one right off the bat like that. As my friend Bill would say, he's a fellow YouTuber. He's got an awesome channel. He would say no skunking. He's big on, uh, on making sure you get, at least get a fish on the board uh, and that was accomplished just now. Got that nice little steelhead on the probably the second, second or third cast, so that immediately gets that skunk off the board. Yeah, you guys should definitely check out Bill's channel. Him and his son Mike. It's uh, Bill and Mike's Fishing Adventures. They put on a just a great fishing channel. So they have a lot of really good steelhead content. I mean, they are top notch in terms of uh, putting a lot of steelhead on the bank, but also just all season long, sort of bass, bass fishing, panfish, catfish, you name it. They're those guys are always fishing for something. So, uh, so yeah, go check it out if you're interested in some, uh, some good fishing action. Okay guys, well after that hot start, it kind of slowed down at the first spot. So I just uh, I actually just switched streams. So after catching one right off the bat, I, I hooked another one and just the fish weren't biting. I could see a bunch of fish, but they just, they just would not eat, so. Sometimes even if the fish are there and they're not eating, it makes sense to switch it up and see if you can find some fish that'll, that'll sort of be in a more active feeding mode. So hopefully that's what we've got here. Okay, no takers on the egg sacks at this spot. So I put on a little jig. This is a 1 80th ounce jig head, little piece of white power worm, and then a, uh, a wax worm as well. So we'll, we'll send that down under a float and uh, see if we can drum up a strike. Fish on, nice. There's a steelhead. That was probably my second or third cast with that jig. Sweet. That is a really light jig. And I don't love how strong that hook is. So I need to play this out nice and smooth. No need to rush this fish. Got some pretty light leader on here as well. So between the light leader and that really small hook, that's uh, easy to bend back. This one's gonna, this one's gonna come in nice and slow. Got a perfect little beach over here. Once he gets a little closer, oh, there's a run. I'll be able to hopefully beach him. There's no drag on these center pin reels, so all of the drag is applied with your hands. Oh, it's a nice one. Really nice fish. 
That's a quality fish right there. Stay on there, buddy. All right, he doesn't want to give up quite yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, stay on there, buddy. He's shaking his head hard. He doesn't want to come in here. Oh, he is shaking. Come on, stay on there. <laughs> Sometimes that last five feet can be the, the hardest. Come on. And back to the hole. <laughs> uh, he was on the shore. He was in two inches of water. Just couldn't couldn't get him to take one more flop in the right direction. <sighs> oh, awesome fish. Oh, what a nice fish. And the hook just popped out right there. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, just like a defense in football, you bend, but you don't break. So check this out. I knew this light wire hook was uh, possibly gonna give me challenges with a bigger fish. And you can see it did, it started to bend back. Um, if it had bent much further back, that fish might have flopped right off, but I was able to play it just gently enough. I really kind of caressed that fish into the shore, so luckily didn't put any extra pressure on that hook, and it was able to survive just long enough to get that fish on the, uh, on the shore. A nice, uh, nice big steelhead. Oh, well that just goes to show you, never be afraid to switch it up if you're not getting bites. I mean, egg sacks are usually pretty tried and true. I, almost always get action on those but you know what today for some reason the bite was slowing down and those fish didn't want those egg sacs so the second i switched over to my my little jig with a power worm immediate hookup oh fish on nice that was right at the bottom of the drift okay Got to keep him out of that tree. Okay, same drill on this one. Light leader and a really light jig. So we got to play him. Definitely can't horse this one. Seems to be cooperating here. And that's because it's smaller fish. <laughs> Okay, just a little guy, we'll send him back. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna call it a morning on that, and there's no better way to end it than, than landing a fish. So, end on a high note. So I ended up uh, landing three and then uh, missing two. So, you know, five chances all together there. That's not bad for a morning, some steady action. I'd, I'd say it was sort of steady. I wouldn't call it like explosive, but if you work for the bites, you know, there were a few out there to be had. Uh, always just love being in the steelhead streams. This is really an amazing fishery and I uh, always look forward to uh, wetting the line here in Erie, Pennsylvania. So in case I haven't said it lately, thanks uh, so much everyone for tuning in. Really appreciate all your support and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and tight lines for now.